To understand the directing style of any director, it is important to understand his history. For director Ron Howard, this was his early career in acting. Howard's career began in 1959 at age 5. Most of his early life was spent acting in motion pictures, but primarily TV shows. Howard's most significant role was playing Oppie Taylor in The Andy Griffith Show for all eight seasons of the show. He later starred in the TV show Happy Days for six years before leaving to pursue his directing career. His break came in 1989 with the comedy Night Shift. Howard has since directed many films, including the three we'll be looking at today. Rush, a biographical sports drama, In the Heart of the Sea, an adventure drama based on a non-fiction book, and the mystery thriller Inferno. Both Rush and In the Heart of the Sea are based on real events. Rush is based on the 1976 Formula One racing season and follows a rivalry between racers James Hunt and Nicky Lauda, played by Chris Hemsworth and Daniel Brohl respectively. In the Heart of the Sea tells the story of the sinking of the ship Essex by a white whale and the hardships endured by the crew who were forced to sail over 2,000 miles in tiny whaling boats from the offshore ground back to the African coast. The third film, Inferno, is based on the Dan Brown novel of the same name and tells the story of Professor Robert Langdon who must decipher a series of clues to find a viral agent and stop its release. The subject matter of each of these films is very different, however, each present the characters with very different obstacles to overcome. These obstacles vary in nature, from horrendous injuries suffered in Formula 1 to starvation on the high seas. Both Rush and In the Heart of the Sea are drama films with a focus on sports and adventure, respectively. Rush focuses on the danger that Formula 1 drivers put themselves in to win races. There was a 20% chance to die in every race they drove, even if the conditions were good. The crash and severe trauma that Lauda faces shows people's capacity to continue doing what they love, despite the obstacles they must overcome. In the Heart of the Sea addresses the dangers that whale hunting posed and the emotions that come with hunting the biggest creature ever to grace the planet. In the Heart of the Sea also faces the ugly truth of greed cannibalism that sailors were forced to perform to survive. The themes in Inferno have a much greater effect on modern society and warrant separate discussion later in the video. All three films make use of a variety of camera angles, but the ones that stand out are the close-ups of actors' faces. These close-up shots evoke emotion in the viewers by focusing on the actors' expressions. These shots are often shot in times of great physical or mental stress. The shots convey the stresses the character is experiencing. In addition, each of these films, however, focuses on a different camera angle to enrich the viewer's experience. In the Heart of the Sea makes use of wide panning shots to provide emphasis to the vastness of the sea. Rush makes use of medium and close-up shots to allow viewers to appreciate the insane speeds the Formula 1 cars travel at. Inferno makes use of shots with heavy editing to show the reader's effects of the con concussion and amnesia that Langdon suffers at the start of the motion picture. These shots throughout Inferno often cause the viewers to be just as confused as the characters. The main characters of each film are introduced by facing difficulties early in the films. For Rush, the introduction is the first time Hunter and Lauda race against each other in Formula 3. This ends in a confrontation and a minor crash. These scenes create the images of James Hunt and Nicky Lauda as the English playboy and the Austrian perfectionist. In the heart of the sea, the Essex is damaged during a storm due to bad captainship. The first mate, Owen Chase, played by Chris Hemsworth, protested the decisions which caused the damage. This immediate danger demonstrates the main character's personalities and the experience that each character has while setting the scene for the rest of the motion picture. Inferno starts by presenting Robert Langdon in a hospital hallucinating and suffering from amnesia, then forces him to escape from an assassin. These shots show how much danger Langdon is in and introduces the audiences to his character and his partner, Sian Brooks. These introductions immediately launch the viewer into action while introducing the characters to the audience without the need for much narration. Despite being the only of these three films not to be based on real events, Inferno is one of the most relevant to today's society as it deals with the major issue of overpopulation and the effects of humanity on Earth. This issue is motivation for the primary antagonist's actions. 
The major differences between the novel and the motion picture are interesting and reveal certain Hollywood trends. In Inferno, the virus will cause half the people on the planet to die in a matter of weeks. This mass murder is stopped and the film ends happily ever after with very few negative ramifications. However, the virus in the book does not cause any death and the heroes fail to stop its release. Instead of causing death, the virus sterilizes half the human population and slowly decreases population by halving the birth rate of humans. This difference in endings shows the prevalence of almost all films ending happily ever after and the reluctance producers have in funding a controversial film for fear of backlash from sensitive members of society. This Hollywood trend is not reflective of the real world and stops films such as Inferno from addressing the bitter truths that hide behind everyday life. In conclusion, the themes explored in Ron Howard's films are complemented by his unique directing style. Howard's style was drawn from his early experiences in, in acting. This involves the use of many close-ups complemented by the quality of actors chosen, such as Chris Hemsworth and Daniel Brill. In The Heart of the Sea, Inferno and Rush all address themes that have major ramifications with all of society. The limitations imposed upon Inferno by Hollywood trends limit its quality and does not allow it to follow the theme of the novel. In the Heart of the Sea deals adequately with the major historical event of the sinking of the Essex, despite not receiving complimentary reviews. Rush follows the racing season with surprising accuracy and details the rivalry between James Hunt and Nikki Lauda accurately.